Sam Webb here with Nick Stauskas. I don't know if you remember Nick coming by the radio station about a couple of years ago. I was just about to talk to you about that. I remember it was uh, summer. It was the summer before I came. Summer before I came here, and I was in with my family on an unofficial visit. I remember that. Yeah, it was. Uh, it was clear then, and you know the confidence that that you exude that never shook. But I'm curious. Along the way, every guy has a moment where maybe there's a player or there's a game where. You know, it kind of kind of staggers you, stunts you a little bit. What was that point where you said, "Whoa, this is different"? What do you mean, for, uh, as a player? When you, once you got to Michigan, where you said, "Whoa, this is." I know you're super confident, but every guy runs into an obstacle where he says, "Whoa, I got to readjust." I think the the first time was just playing open gym, uh, you know, with the guys and and seeing the level of talent that you know guys like Trey and Tim had. I I never played with anyone as good as Trey um, in my whole life, and you know, to see the his capabilities and you know to see that he was projected as an NBA pick, I'm like. I was like, man, this is how good you got to be to get to that level. So that was really like the first wake-up call I had when I got here where I was like, man, these guys are good. One of the things that, that guys have to do, regardless of talent, you step into a team with established talent, you have to learn to kind of to kind of play a role. How tough was that? Because you've always been a guy with the ball in your hands. How tough was that for you as a freshman? I, you know, I don't think it was very tough just because, you know, I was willing to sacrifice for the team. And I knew at that point I, I wasn't, you know, I wasn't the best player on the team. I knew it was Trey and Tim's team. So, you know, I was along for the ride and I just wanted to win, really. So I was really, I was willing to play any role I possibly could. And at the beginning of the year, that was, you know, me coming off the bench. And um, after a while, I earned a starting role. But I was just happy with what, whatever I could get, really, my freshman year. All right. So then those guys leave and there's definitely a void. Now it's time for a new role definition. Was was it the coaches coming to you saying, Nick, you know, you, you need to be the guy? Was it you saying, all right, I am the guy? How did that process kind of work as far as role definition was concerned? Um, You know, the coaches never really came out to me. You're like, man, we need you to be that guy. But um, I kind of realized with them leaving, someone needs to step up. And my mindset was, why not me? So um, I really spent I spent the time last spring and summer just preparing myself and um, trying to get trying to get better in all facets of my uh, all facets of the game. And. Um, I think a good, I did a good job of showing that early in the preseason and practices, and I earned the coach's confidence, and I think that showed throughout the whole year. Here with Nick Stauskas on Sports Talk 1050 WTKA online at WTK.com. All right, so let's get into this season's journey. Every season is a journey. You're, you're working into that role. You have some success early, and then the adjustment within the season comes. Mm-hmm. Was there ever any, any, any doubt? Was there ever any... I don't know, concern on your part with what teams were doing to you. Wow, are you going to be able to get it done? No, there was there was a lot of times where I kind of doubted myself and I wondered if it was going to be like that for the rest of the season. And uh, I got to give a lot of credit to, to my teammates and my coaching staff for helping me through that because, um, you know, they show, they began to show me different ways I could get open, different ways to get easy baskets and get in a rhythm. And um, I think the biggest thing I learned to do this year was was learn to make good, uh, great backdoor cuts. And when I made when I when I could make uh, backdoor cuts, that that made teams respect me and it made it easier for me to catch the ball on the perimeter. So um, I think just learning how to cut without the ball was was one of the biggest things for me. Um, in growing this year. And one of the things that I used to see from 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 Trey especially, he kind of gave you guys your swagger. Yeah. And I saw in some games this season that seemed to be you. I remember Michigan up at Michigan State, yeah. you hit some shots. Very. I don't know if you went into the game saying I'm going to get it yeah. early against Ohio State. The same thing. Was that a concerted thing on your part in games like that where you said, Hey, you know, I'm going to set the tone for my team. I think for me. It, you know, the the bigger the stage, you know, the more I like to play. So um, those games like Michigan State, Ohio State this year, th- those are the games where I think my, my mental focus just goes up another level and um, I come out with an aggressive mindset. When I come out with an aggressive mindset, that means I'm confident and I'm having fun. And when I'm confident I'm having fun, that's when I play my best. All right, so I know one of the things that really made you have fun, and we're here with Nick Stauskas on Sports Talk 1050 WTK, is when people talk. I know the crowd says different things, but players, what guys did you run into that and maybe said something to you that really got you going. If you could share what they said, PG, please. Uh, what did they say? You know, you you would actually be surprised that not many you know not many people would would talk um, you know garbage or anything to me this year. Like it was um, really? a lot of the guys I was guarding, they'd be quiet the whole game, and <laughs> um, you know maybe they'd throw a joke in here or there. But you know, other than that, I, th- I think most of the year guys were pretty quiet. They wouldn't really say much to me, and um, you know it was kind of just up, uh, us going up against each other, but. 
I feel like, you know, but I feel like our team, um, you know, in general, I think we, we did a good job of, of not talking smack to their team, but, you know, we would pump each other up on the floor. So when someone made a, you know, when someone made a great move, when someone made a great basket, you know, we would say some things that we, kn- we knew the other team could hear them, <laughs> but, um, you know, it was more of just encouraging each other. So I think we did a great job with that this year. All right, last couple with Nick. Okay, so we know the crowd got you fired up a few yeah. times. So what about some of the things that maybe the crowd said to you that really got you going? I saw you blow some kisses at the crowd a few times. What about that? You know, we played we played in some hostile environments this year, and I just remember, um, you know, playing at Michigan State in warmups. I was the first one out there, and um, I sat I think I sat on the bench to tie my shoes before I was gonna go shoot around. And, um, there was about 100 fans just right behind me yelling in my ear and just saying all kinds of crazy things. And you know, those are the things that you really those are the moments you really cherish and um, you look back on, and and it just makes you enjoy your your college experience. All right, the last one for you, Nick. You know, it's always, uh, you know, a, a one of those things that's fulfilling to make a decision like this. But part of it is bittersweet because you're leaving your teammates behind. Talk about that, that, that process of, of knowing that you have to be selfish. You have to think about yourself more than you think about the team. And, and talk me through that, how you, how you got through that. Yeah, like you said, it's, it's tough just because you realize, and you, you realize that you're leaving your teammates behind. And um, you realize the relationships that you build, you know, over, our, over my two years here and um, I'm definitely going to miss them, but at the same time, this is it's a once-in-a-lifetime opportunity, and this is something that I've, you know, it's been my goal since I was a young kid. So to have this in front of me, it was it was really hard to pass up on, as you know, as much as I was going to miss my teammates. All right, thanks a lot, Nick. Appreciate right. your time, man.